So uh, let's start uh, today. Uh, I, int I introduce you to the uh, uh, CSI, uh, CSI storage driver for uh, LVM based local storage. Uh, this, <coughs> this driver uh, has a capacity aware dynamic volume provisioning feature. So uh, it's agenda. So first, uh, I will introduce you the motivation to develop uh, my, our uh, storage driver, uh, Topo LVM. And the next, uh, I should introduce the, what is Topo LVM and the, how Topo LVM, Topo LVM works. And the, at last, uh, I'll show you the uh, next step or uh, next plan of the <coughs> uh, Topo LVM. So first, motivation. So let me introduce uh, <coughs> our company, Cybos. Uh, Cybos is a, a leading cloud service provider in Japan, and uh, we provide software that support teamwork. So uh, this kind of software is uh, also known as uh, groupware in Japan. So the Cybos has a, a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, it's an on-premise uh, Kubernetes cluster, cluster in the, our data center. So <coughs> It's under development, but uh, we will use uh, this cluster to uh, host uh, our service in the, uh, after two or three years, uh, two or three years uh, later. And we, uh, in this cluster, we also have a, uh, have a storage system and uh, on top of this Kubernetes cluster. And uh, we have two kinds of storage. Uh, the first one is distributed block and uh, object storage. And uh, we, uh, we also decided to use uh, Rook and Safe for the, the distributed storage. The uh, second one is a local fast storage. In this case, uh, fast means uh, uh, local NVMe SSD storage. So uh, at the beginning of our development, uh, we need to uh, select the best, uh, best storage driver for local fast storage. So let me introduce the requirement uh, for a local storage, uh, uh, Cybo's uh, local storage. So uh, we have two requirements. Uh, first, uh, users can create arbitrary sized volumes. Typically, uh, local storage is uh, disks or uh, partitions and they are, uh, they are fixed size. So, but fixed size disks or partitions uh, uh, in other words, uh, fixed size volumes are inconvenient especially for uh, Kubernetes users. And the second <coughs> requirement is volume should be spread over nodes based on uh, free storage capacity. In other words, uh, use storage capacity for each node emily to utilize the uh, full, full local storage. So uh, we, dis uh, we should decide uh, we should decide and to use what was the best storage driver. What is the best uh, storage driver to use uh, our, our Kubernetes cluster? So unfortunately, uh, there was no CSI driver that met our, uh, all our requirements. So we decided to create a new CSI driver, Topo LVM. It's a very simple story. There is no driver. We create driver. So next, uh, I'll introduce uh, what is Topo LVM. Uh, about arbitrary volume size, it's uh, uh, one uh, requirement of, uh, it's a uh, first requirement. Topo LVM uh, deals with LVM uh, volume groups prepared on each node. And uh, Topo LVM create an uh, LVM logical volume for each past in the volume resource. And, uh, Probably you are uh, a bit confused because uh, what PV means. But in this case, uh, PV is, in this case, uh, in this slide, PV is not means uh, uh, LVM's uh, physical volume, but uh, percent volume. So uh, let's see the uh, uh, top side of this, uh, this figure. Um, it means, uh, uh, it means uh, Kubernetes resource. There are three uh, percent volume. And the bottom side means uh, uh, hardware configurations. Uh, there are node one and node two, two, uh, two nodes. And there are uh, one, one VG for each node. And these uh, uh, volume groups uh, are prepared by administrators uh, 
topo of EVM uh, doesn't touch uh, volume group. And uh, there are, uh, there are uh, logical volumes for each uh, percent volume. So let's see the uh, pot scheduling and volume provisioning of, uh, uh, of uh, topo LVM. So uh, let's see the uh, top side of uh, Kubernetes uh, resources. And uh, there are three uh, Kubernetes resources, pod, PVC, and the storage class. The first uh, pod consumes uh, are PVC uh, that request uh, 10 gigabytes. And this uh, PVC uh, points to the, uh, the storage class for uh, top LVM. That means this volume uh, is created through the uh, so, uh, top LVM. And there are, uh, there are three nodes, node zero, node one, node two, and the uh, these have, uh, node zero has 15 gigabytes uh, free, uh, VG, free VG storage, and the node one is 100, and node two are five, uh, just five gigabytes, respectively. So let us assume in this case, uh, uh, two, I have two assumptions. So uh, PVC is dynamic volume provisioned in this case. So uh, it means our PV and the PV uh, corresponding to PVC will be created at port scheduling. Not, uh, so it means uh, uh, in this figure, uh, PV is not exist yet. So the uh, next assumption is that storage class uh, volume binding mode. In this case, volume bind binding mode should be wait for fast consumer. So when uh, we create the PVC, uh, PV is not created. Uh, so a PV is bound to a PVC at pot scheduling. So uh, both uh, PVC, uh, PVC and PV, uh, no, 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 uh, PV is created at, uh, on uh, pot scheduling. So of course, uh, top LVM also supports the uh, not dynamic, so uh, static volume provisioning and uh, volume binding mode immediate, but uh, it's the best choice for to use dynamic volume provisioning and uh, volume, uh, wait for a fast consumer. So uh, as a result of uh, top volume volume management and pot scheduling, uh, the pot is scheduled to the node having the largest free budget uh, space as possible. In this case, node one. Node 1 has uh, uh, 100 gigabytes. It's the uh, largest value among these uh, three nodes. And uh, uh, the volume is provisioned on the same node as the pod. Volume and the pod are scheduled to node 1, both scheduled to both 1. And the pod is on node 1, and the LV is created on uh, this, this volume group on node 1 and it's bound to this pot and the PV and the PVC and the pot resource. Uh, top LV, uh, that, it, uh, that was the main feature of top LVM and uh, top LVM also has uh, many other features. So first one is the volume type. Uh, for uh, file system volumes, uh, we on uh, top LVM support ext4, xfs and barifs. So it covers the uh, most main uh, three file systems in Linux. So, and the uh, top LVM also support a low block volume. Uh, in our case, um, top LVM is used for uh, getting uh, uh, getting uh, storage for a block safe uh, distributed storage. So we also, uh, top LVM also support other features like uh, generic ephemeral volume and the volume expansion and the shin volumes. Uh, shin volumes also support the snapshot and the shin, uh, shin snapshot and shin clone features. Uh, interestingly, uh, this uh, shin volume feature is not, uh, was not created by Cybos, but was created by Red Hat. So they, uh, they need to implement this feature So how about community of top LVM? Uh, there are many non cybers users and developers. Uh, I guess uh, there are over 100 or 200 uh, people, uh, uh, the top LVM user, and there are uh, over 10 people, uh, 10 non cybers uh, people are developing, the, uh, developing top LVM. 
and、uh, some companies use t o p o l v m in their product. So、uh, it can be said that the、uh, t o p o l v m is、uh, used by used in the production environment, not in the not only in the cybers but also in other companies. Especially、uh, one good example is uh, uh, about Red Hat. Red Hat OpenShift embed、uh, t o p o l v m in their OpenShift. So the one very interesting story is that the, the first patch from Red Hat is about to support their mainframe system in t o p o l v m I was, I was, and the, my all all my teams members are very surprised because I don't, I we don't have mainframe system. <laughs> How to test this this patch? So after discussion, after discussion with、uh, Topolvm、uh, maintainer and、uh, our Red Hat developers, we decided to、uh, merge this patch.、Uh, to tell the truth, <laughs> we don't test it.、Uh, we can't test it, <laughs> but、uh, probably. Uh, Red Hat test、uh, <laughs> test this patch in their environment. No problem. Yes. So it means that the, uh, their OpenShift and their Kubernetes cluster can be run on on top of mainframe. <laughs> Very surprising. So it also means uh, top, uh, there is a top top LVM container working for mainframe. <laughs> I didn't touch it. <laughs> So next topic is how TopoLVM works. So there are two challenges to implement the、uh, TopoLVM、uh, port scheduling and uh, uh, volume volume provisioning. The、so、one is the scheduler port to the node having as large free VG space as possible. To accomplish this uh, purpose, uh, we decided to use the scheduler extender of Kubernetes, and it, it's an、uh, official Kubernetes、uh, feature. And the second challenge is provision and provision the volume on the same node as the、uh, pod. So we、uh, we use、uh, CSI topology. It's、uh, it's also a official feature of Kubernetes. So but、uh, these features are optional. So、uh, the user or in this case TopoLVM or CSI driver can、uh, implement their logic in to use、uh, scheduler extender and、uh, CSI topology. So、uh, let、uh, so I will introduce the scheduler extender. So let's see the、uh, bottom side of this slide. It means the、uh, step the step to schedule a port into some into a node.、Uh, it's the、uh, Kube scheduler's work. The first、uh, the start、uh, start port scheduling, and in the second step,、uh, filter out node that doesn't match condition、uh, some conditions、uh, defined by Uh, Kube scheduler, and in the third step, uh, uh, top LV, uh, no, 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 no.、Uh, Kube scheduler scoring the remaining node.、Uh, it's not、uh, filtered out by the、uh, Kube scheduler、uh, before, uh, in the step two. And the fourth, fourth and the last step is the、uh, pod is scheduled to a node that has the highest score. And in this case,、uh, users can、uh, extend the、uh, Kube scheduler by scheduler extender. It's implemented as a webhook. So webhook, this webhook、uh, can implement the two logic. In the the one is in the、uh, filtering、uh, step, and the second is、uh, in the scoring steps. The first one is filtered nodes which don't have some conditions. It's defined by、uh, scheduler extender, and the second one is at a factor of scoring node. It's also defined by this、uh, scheduler extender. So、uh, how about top LVM scheduler extender? The first step is about filtering. Filter out nodes which don't have enough free space. And the second step is、uh, add a factor of scoring to prefer node having large free VG space. Uh, to uh, to implement these logics,、uh, the two parameters of the top LVM、uh, scheduler is、uh, necessary. So、uh, the two parameters are、uh, first one is free VG space for each node. And the second one is total request top, requested top LVM volume size for each pod,、uh, which using the top LVM, top LVM volumes. So top LVM manages annotations for these parameters in node resource and pod resource. So as for、uh, for、uh, free VG space for each node,、uh, 
uh, now Kubernetes has uh, storage capacity tracking features. And, uh, this feature can also be used uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, extending the scheduler, but it can also be, uh, it can only be used for filtering. It cannot be used for uh, scoring. So uh, the uh, top LVM also can use uh, storage capacity tracking, but uh, for now, the uh, top LVM original um, annotation is the best choice. So about uh, CSI topology, CSI topology is a feature of Kubernetes and uh, uh, this feature schedule a part to one of the nodes where its volumes are available. Where, uh, where uh, volumes are available means uh, a zone or a node or something. So uh, this feature is used for no uh, zone local storage or node local storage and so on. So top of LVM, in, uh, in top of LVM, uh, top of LVM create a volume on the same node as the corresponding port. So let's see the example of uh, scheduling a port using the top of LVM volumes. So top side is Kubernetes resources and the bottom side is hardware configuration. There are three nodes, uh, node zero, one, two, and the node zero has uh, 50, giga 50 gigabyte free uh, VG space and node one has 100 gigabytes, and node two has five, five gigabytes. And there are three, uh, three node resources uh, exist, uh, exist for each uh, uh, physical node. And this node has, uh, oh, no, 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 no. This node has uh, uh, annotations uh, that are named capacity. So this, uh, this annotation means uh, our real, uh, VG volume, real VG volumes. So uh, this annotation is added by Topo LVM. So let's create both uh, port and PVC resource. So then uh, PVC uh, request 10 gigabyte uh, volumes from Topo LVM, and the uh, port is created to uh, consume this PVC. And then uh, uh, when uh, creating this port, uh, port resource, uh, Top LVM webhook at, uh, at the uh, annotation uh, named uh, capacity. Uh, this capacity. This capacity, this annotation means the total amount of uh, volume size uh, consumed by this port. In this case, just uh, 10 gigabytes. So next step, uh, Kube scheduler is, uh, uh, start, Kube scheduler started to run and uh, it's a filtering process. The first filtering process uh, uh, traverses the node resources and uh, read uh, capacity annotation and found that the node two doesn't have enough free space, enough free bridge space. So uh, then in, in filtering process, node two was filtered out. Node two is filtered out. So uh, next step is scoring. Uh, there are two remaining nodes, node one and node two, and uh, uh, the top LVM scheduler traverses uh, two nodes and uh, finds that the, the largest, largest capacity is uh, 100 gigabytes and uh, uh, node one is the best choice. And schedule this, uh, this port to node one. And the next step, uh, thanks to CSI, uh, CSI topology, the volume is uh, create, uh, provisioned to this node, uh, this node and, and node one. Pot is scheduled, uh, first top pot is scheduled to node one, and uh, uh, the corresponding pot, uh, corresponding volume, uh, logical volume is created on top of node one, and this is bound to pot and PV and PVC. So the last topic is about the uh, next plan of uh, top LVM. So next, uh, we have two plans. The first one is implement the Kubernetes official capacity aware port scheduling. So it's because setting up a scheduler extender is a bit difficult. I say a bit difficult, but uh, too, too difficult, <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, we'd like to uh, prepare a uh, cap to implement the, uh, implement the capacity aware features to uh, to uh, mitigate this situation uh, because there are many, many, many 
uh, issues uh, to claim uh, I failed to schedule extender or configure, configure uh, schedule extender or something. Uh, that's the worst case. Uh, we cannot uh, use schedule extender at all uh, due to the limitation of cloud provider or something. So the uh, last plan is the uh, Dunate Topo LVM project to CNCF because uh, now uh, Topo LVM is cre uh, created by uh, many companies or many individual peoples. Uh, I and the Topo LVM member and the cyborgs uh, consider it's the best choice, I believe. So the conclusion is that uh, Topo LVM is an LVM based CSI driver. Uh, volumes and the corresponding parts are evenly spread for each node. Uh, it's uh, accomplished by the schedule extender and the CSI topology Kubernetes features. So we welcome new users and the contributions. Thank you. That's all. Uh, do you have any questions? Thank you for your good presentation. So I have one question. Okay. Why, why did your company decided to develop it as an OSS? Uh, not only Topo LVM, yes. but also... Uh, Topo LVM. Uh, this, this, uh, yes. this software. Yes, this software. Um, it's just because uh, there is no, um, no suitable driver and uh, we are able to create any software. Yes, we have many uh, skillful engineers. Is there any benefit to create, to develop it as an OSS? So, so because so you can develop it as a closed source code? Ah, okay. Uh, I understood uh, uh, what you said. So he said, uh, why we created uh, Topo LBM and uh, publish it as a open source, right? Yes, right. Okay. Uh, it's because uh, my team, uh, my team uh, firstly decided to uh, publish all our pro product, all, all our product about the infrastructure in public as an OSS, because uh, it's it's all uh, it's for uh, many purpose. The first purpose is uh, uh, if uh, someone. I uh, think uh, our, our product very easy, uh, very be, uh, very good. Uh, it's, uh, it's very happy for us. And uh, probably, you, as you know, uh, the software about the uh, infrastructure is not the source of our uh, benefit, yeah. and, uh, our benefit. So uh, it's not uh, difficult to publish our products. And the last reason is uh, if we publish uh, our software to in, uh, as OSS. Mm -hmm. Someone read <laughs> <Yeah>. our source code, <laughs> and you we should get, write yeah. uh, should write uh, this source code uh, to uh, to public, and we we can write very good code than the <laughs> <laughs> yes in-house software. <laughs> yeah, in, uh, it's very good, and uh, I recommend you to. Uh, write your, uh, publish your source code as OSS. It's real. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks, I understand, yeah. Any other questions? Nothing? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>